What do you need for photography? Photographers' preferences will differ. Some value the importance of gear, and others are more of an equipment minimalist. We all have must-haves in our camera bags, our camera body and go-to lenses. For me, one other thing must be in my bag, something I've been using increasingly more often in recent weeks for a particular subject. Today I am stoked to be back in the waterfall country of Wales where we are exploring more incredible trails that have pockets of cascades and waterfalls dotted throughout them. It's absolutely stunning, I'm hoping to come away with a few cracking images today. So we're going to get started with the waterfall that's actually right behind you. We have a simple setup right now. We are on the tripod, balancing nicely on all of these rocks. We've got the 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens on and a polarizing filter popped on the end. You don't need to use a polarizing filter for waterfall photography, but I love to. And notice how in this scene, it's just taking that glare off the water surface, but also in the foreground, it's also taking a bit of the highlights down on those ferns and adding some more vibrant green color. A polarizing filter reduces or cuts out the amount of polarized light or reflected light in a scene which you may find on the surface of water, wet leaves, moss or even in the sky. See how when I turn the ring here how the reflected light is minimalized and the faster I turn it the more obvious the effect is. Today we are using the Nisi True Color Circular Polarizing Filter, which Nisi were kind enough to send to me as they probably saw the state of my own polarizing filter and thought, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It does boast a few interesting sounding features that we're gonna explore today while we continue to photograph this stunning area. Now, the main feature of the Nisi polarizing filter is in its name, True Color. This polarizing filter claims to create little to no color cast in its images. So we're gonna put it to the test and take a picture of this horseshoe-shaped waterfall right here. We're gonna take one image with the Nisi and a second shot without a filter at all to see if there really is any difference in color. I took a general shot of the area, including rocks, water, and trees to see if there was any noticeable difference. Let me know what you think, but both look pretty identical to me. Any minor difference I see if I look closely is just the light having shifted slightly. I found a composition by the horseshoe shaped falls, but the light was incredibly patchy, the sun very very bright, and so I moved on to the next waterfall to go scout out and see if there was any shots there that was a bit more shady. that I noticed about the Nisi filter was how easy and effortless it was to pop it on the end of my lens in comparison to my Hoya filter which yes is battered and old but needs a lot of encouragement to go on this I just popped on straight away and I also really like the design how there is a very clear distinction between the polarizing ring and the lens thread so you can't confuse the two and accidentally twist the wrong thing not that I do that ever The 
because a polarizing filter acts as a one-stop ND filter, we will have to extend our exposure time a little bit, which is perfect for me because I like my water to be a little smooth, but not enough so that it takes away all the texture from the water. So a polarizing filter is just perfect for this shot because I can get a fast enough shutter speed to capture this flowing water with a little texture and slow enough to show movement in this swirling pool of water in the foreground. I could experiment with a 6 or 10 stop ND filter here in this foreground to get a longer exposure of this water, but then I'd either have to exposure stack, take two images, or filter stack which could cause some unwanted vignetting. For any eagle-eyed viewers wondering if I have a UV filter in between my lens and my polarizing filter, this is actually a step-up ring. This is an 82mm filter and the majority of my lenses are a 77mm thread, so this is just covering the distance. The Nisi polarizing filter will also mostly reduce the polarization in the foreground of your scene, which is useful if you've got flowing water, moss or wet rocks like I do in this composition here. This one was tricky to take as it's a highly contrasted scene. The shadows were almost black while the sun was catching those highlights making them extremely bright. I wasn't sure if I wanted to take away all of the reflection in the foreground elements because I was worried the image would get lost in the darkness of this cove. Waterfalls on this trail were incredibly loud and my voice hurt trying to be heard above them. While the sun was bright, leaving the landscape highly contrasted, I decided to test Nisi's Pro Nano double sided coating, which claims to be oil, water, and fingerprint proof free. I tried my best to leave a crime scene on this filter with my semi dirty fingers and some water droplets neither of which left any smeary marks after a simple cloth clean and the filter looked brand new. It was pretty impressive how fast and easy it was to keep this filter clean, something that is very, very useful when it comes to photography involving water subjects such as coastal or waterfalls, or even in rainy conditions. Now one thing I have to say is that this filter is very well designed, and yes, I am at home. You don't see me here often, but the waterfalls became increasingly busy. Now I have only ever owned one polarizing filter in my photography lifetime, so maybe I'm just really excited about a gear upgrade, but the grip on the Nisi is fantastic, and I mention this because I own one of these, a filter wrench. When you grip my Hoya filter, it's very easy to twist the polarizing ring instead of taking it off, and it's like glue if you accidentally twist it on too tight. The Nisi is effortless and easy to grip and twist off. Will I be needing one of these again? Potentially not. I did take a few images on the Four Falls Trail before I became a bit exasperated with the crowds of people, so I'll pop those on screen next. But overall, this filter has earned a place in my camera bag. I didn't fall in the river and I've got plenty of waterfall inspiration. So, successful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.
So I've just realized that I might be pronouncing Nisi wrong. Nisi, Nisi, Nisi. I guess it's a bit like Nikon, Nikon, Canon, Canon, Apple, Apple, Orange, Orange, Banana, Banono, 